the solutions to the practice problems for factoring, when I look at 45 and 16, the greatest number that goes into both of those would be 15. 12 and 18, the greatest common factor would be 6. And between 12 and 15, the greatest common factor would be 3, and x cubed, and x, a 3x. You can't take more x's than you have. So to factor completely, we are undistributing. What could have been distributed to both the 8 and the 24? That would have been 8. 8 times x is 8x. 8 times 3 is 24. You have to look for the largest common factor. Between negative 6 and 12, it looks to be like negative 6. We always like to take negatives out if we can. That would be y minus 2. Between 10 and 25, would be a 5, and they both at least have 2x's in common. So 5x squared times 2 is 10x squared minus 5x. 5x times 5x squared would be 25x cubed. Doesn't matter. You do the same thing if you have three terms or a trinomial. Looks like I can take a 6 out of each, and they each at least have 1x. This would be x squared minus 2x plus 3. Redistribute to check your answer. Between 3, 9, and 12, I can take a 3, and it looks like they all share some x's. And the x's that they share on this one, it looks like they share three of them. Now, you must put a 1 there. You have to show that when I redistribute, I get 3x cubed. If I don't put a 1, I will not get the 3x cubed back to check my answer. 3x cubed times 3x would be 9x to the fourth, and a 4x squared because 3 and 2 make 5. And then the last problem looks like they all share a 9x. Multiplying to make sure I get each term back, that must be an x squared minus a 2x plus a 3. Again, when you redistribute, you have to make sure that you get all of those three terms.